I had Megan. I had done most of my review for the Pearl, La Pearl collection by Chanel about two weeks ago when I saw the flu. I was trying to get it up there, or right before I got the flu. Um, but then I, I didn't do the one for the lip gloss. So this is for the lip gloss in that collection. It was a second spring release for them. It had a limited edition blush, two eyeshadow quads, one of which was limited edition, one of which was regular collection, a uh, little lip palette. I, I don't like lip palettes, but I don't remember if it had six or eight lip colors in a little palette. A limited edition, that was limited edition, a limited edition lipstick, just one, and then the two limited edition lip glosses. And so now I have the two lip glosses. And I am typically not a lip gloss girl, but lately I just, I don't know, I'm in one of my sheer shimmery phases and I'm playing around with lip glosses again. So this time they've got number 92 corset, which is what I've got on my lips right now. And I'm actually going to change these on camera. I learned to do that just because I've reasonably pigmented lips, not super pigmented, but pigmented enough that it does impact the color of a lot of things. Definitely impacts the color of lip gloss. So I just wanted to show the lip glosses swatched and then also applied and then also you see how it looks like how it applies some things are kind of blotchy and some work really well so this is 0.20 ounces i really like the containers these are different from my old chanel lip gloss containers they've kind of i don't know if you can see they are getting slimmer at both ends got a little chanel on it and then this is the brush, and I do actually really like the brushes. It's like a makeup brush, as opposed to one of those little doe foot applicators. It's an actual brush at the end. I really like that a lot, and it's about the right size, so you can really paint it on, because this particular color is pretty pigmented. You can really paint it on with a lot of precision. This color I really love. It's kind of, uh, as I shift it, it's a really deep, rich warmer pink color not super warm just slightly warm and i would call it more like a carnation pink and it just applies beautifully i haven't done a lot of glosses lately like i said um, but this texture of this particular lip gloss the chanel and both of these is a little bit less sticky it feels almost like a thicker balm kind of thing it's a really light formula on the lips and so I, I actually like that. And I don't get any bleeding. I don't get any bunching up of these two shades on me. I do have, I have a dry skin issue, except on my lips. For some reason, my lips don't seem to dry out that much. It might be because I do balm every day, twice a day at least. But these don't dry. They're not particularly moisturizing, but they don't dry either. And this lip gloss will last me, this color will last about an hour and a half, a little bit over that. And it wears really evenly. I don't get any staining. Both of them have tiny little bits of like glitter, glisten things in them. So if that's something that you really are not a fan of, this might not be for you. The next one is 9122. And I can't get it out of the container. I forgot about the smell. There's a slight floral smell. It's not that bad. No. Now I can't smell it at all. No smell. So this is the next one, 22. And this one again has just a tiny, tiny little bit of shimmer in it. It's a really light shade, so if you can see it right there. Natural lighting is kind of shifting. So this is a lighter pink, and I think it's also a little bit cooler. I actually like this one a little bit less. So you can see I have natural color on my lips. It's a much more muted, subtle kind of a look. This is actually the kind of thing that looks really pretty on my daughter who's got brown hair and brown eyes. If you've got that kind of pink undertone, brown hair, brown eyes thing going on, this is gonna be a really beautiful color on you. Um, in fact, I think, I've been saying this about the collection in general, I think parts of the collection work really well with people that have kind of the brown hair, brown eyes, or slightly cooler skin tones. I mean, it works on me too, I, I think that. But I'm always on the watch for shades that work with those who have kind of the same coloring as my daughter because I'm trying to learn what looks good on her. So I actually really like this collection. Um, I like these lip glosses. This color though lasts a little bit less, just over an hour. And I think it's just because it's a more muted color. So it doesn't really show up that much on me anyway. 
if you had less pigmentation on your lips, it's going to show up more true to color on you. But anyway, that's this collection. I do, I was really happy with it. I just, I thought it was so pretty, soft, smoky, just a nice change from all the brights that start coming in spring, but still softer, a little bit pink based, very pink based, and uh, just really pretty. So anyway, that's all I have to say about it. If you have thoughts, suggestions, comments, I forgot to mention there was also an eye liner pencil, which I did not get in this collection. Anyway, that's it. Thanks, and please subscribe on YouTube.